Figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for her. Getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? Might be. Honor to fight for my home. Learn their lesson. That's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. I'm sure the locals know much, much more than they're letting on. I've been wondering. What's that? The guardian angel of the slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? Huh. <laughs> Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. Folks around here, the Angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. Oh, can't believe you can get paid to dig up people's secrets. Even a bandit makes a more honest living than that reporter. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Be 
changed so much out of this period. This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that. But I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, uh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. The forgotten Lookout Point deep within the scrap. Could it be that this place holds the secrets of the Angel? This is what we need to find out. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. You'll find my wife's grave with all the others out by the river's head. But I suspect you're gonna need a key to get past the new gate they put in. Let's go. Let us through, or else. Go on! Stay back! I got your number. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's finish this. Let's do this. That's it. And this one's for you. I can help too. Get quick. All right. It's going in. Here he comes. One more shot. Here we go. Go on. That's it. And that one's for you. I'll try this. Let's finish this. Get him. That was close. Go on. Going in. One more time. Brace yourself. This must be it. Hey, you want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? I'll show you what I can do. Can you take over for me? Cut, that's over. Going in. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Come on. Too bad.
No holding back. That's it! Hey! Go on! Never again. I'm coming. One more shot. You're going all out. Well, that really sucked. Let the winds caress you. You can do it. Let's do this. You're out of luck. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, 
why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Money! That's all you kids think about. Not a whit of generosity or selflessness. I may as well keep working till the day I die. Maybe it's not too late for kids to learn that life's about more than just money. Money! That's all- I may as well keep working till the day I die. You're a real dick, you know that? But on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. I don't know if you knew, but he used to offer free lessons to all the street kids in the neighborhood. And yeah, I was one of those street kids. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal.
<laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough. Enough! Stay back. Come on! <laughs> Get him! Can't you leave us alone? No. I got your number. Gotta get a little hate back. Come on, man. You're done. Here we go. This one's for you. Get him. Soldier. First class. One more shot. Okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. Don't overdo it. I'm coming! <laughs> Can't. It's my job. And think about changing your career. Can't keep eyes. Take oh. it over. <laughs> 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 Strong, isn't it? I've seen this type before. You don't know me. He's dead. How's that payback working out for you? Go on! Oh, better than expect you got your number. Buzz off! I thought you didn't want to get rough. No holding back. This is self-defense. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> Hey there, partner. I'm but, sure you're having the time of your uh, life, but we're needed on standby uh, for a job at something uh, about Sector 7. But, so get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Wait a sec. So, you coming?
Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> Don't want to overstay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today, thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. The kids are talking about you like they found themselves a new hero. Thank you for being there for the children. I really appreciate it. 
Who knew talking to the kids about the past would be? I tried that new chocobo fabric softener you mentioned. I guess it's time you hit Walmart. about a coincidence what are you doing here waiting why because I'm not sick of you yet <laughs> lead on then with pleasure <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. But... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market, a real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid.
It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up pretty dangerous place for kids to play raised in the slums remember you're tough 
Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment. Looks like a dead end. Get back. I can fight you. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Is a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh... Huh. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? 
Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Gotcha. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Okay then. Too fast, okay? Got it.
Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Campament... Uh, composite... I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like... Uh, it's like... Compensation... For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... Uh, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense! Due recompense! Due... due recompense? Uh, no, shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh... uh it's like, uh... uh Compensatory damages! Oh, of course! So damages recompense! I, I, I think we've heard enough. <laughs>